Hey Sagittarius, how you doing? Welcome to Soulvine. This is Jamie. We're connecting in with your energies, sun, moon, rising, and any, you know, strong or dominant placements you may have in Sagittarius. We're going to look at your, the past and how it's impacting the present. We're going to look at the current situation, the influence, and then the outcome. So let's get started and see what you need to know. Uh, right now we are in the depths of the full moon in cancer energy so you may be feeling that there are things coming up around the home space around loyalty um, and you know things like deeper connections that have meaning and and what they actually do mean to you things that you may need to release from those situations around thoughts or old stories and things like that but let's connect in uh, Sag, we have got um, the past as it's pertaining to the present. You've got seventh chakra, Archangel Uriel. So there's something about your intuition, your understanding around something that seems to be relevant today. And I do hear sometimes that why did we ignore our intuition or, you know, I had, I had a feeling, whatever this is. We're going to uncover more uh, on this scenario. What we do have or showing the current situation is anxiety. So again, this could be vice versa energy, who you're dealing with. We will look in deeper, but I feel like whatever has been uncovered now or what information that you're channeling in, in terms of your intuition or downloading or um, your dreams, whatever, something has you concerned, it seems, okay? In terms of the influence, uh, we've got personal healing and happiness. So something is going to shift here, but let's look at what we need to uncover here for you, Sag. In terms of the outcome, we have got community. So it's kind of like the, the three of cups energy. I think you're going to be pleasantly surprised as you shift out of this energy, but we really need to see what all this is about and how we can support your journey right now. So let's have a look, Sagittarius. What do we need to know here with the shark, uh, seventh chakra? What do we need to know? So we're showing up sudden wealth and what did we have here? Message. Okay. So some message and some, something regarding sudden wealth. Let's get a few more and see what our spirit wants you to know here. I mean, we all like some sudden wealth, right? But sometimes the way it comes in is not what ideally that we want. So this could be a loss of someone, but let's, let's see what we need to know here. Well, spirit has a lot to say right now regarding this. So let's have a look. So we've got three of emotions coming up. The full energy with the queen of sorts or queen of voices, as you may know it. And then we've got the nine of inspiration with the eight of materials. This is interesting energy because whatever's happening here or whatever you're uncovering, I don't know if this was at an event you were at um, and someone came towards you to share information here, Sagittarius. Because it's about someone who's come towards you is what I feel has happened. I don't know if this information that you learn or, not, or uncovered, you've been trying to find out or learn more about. Um, that you've been, you know, battling in your own way. Because I think with this um, nine of inspiration, this is like putting in a lot of hard effort and hard work to get to the bottom of something or get to this to the finish line of something, okay? Yeah, again, the effort, trying to uncover something, learn, understand something here. Mm, it's really interesting energy. But again, this is like kind of how the past is related to the present. What did you learn? Let's have a look here with this anxiety energy and what this is more so about. Bad health. I did say for some, 
um, cause this is not going to relate to everyone that someone may have, yeah. Um, come to the end of their chapter here on earth. Okay. And that can be a stressful time for anyone. Uh, this could be also someone here that now, because someone's unwell, you've got to take care of somebody. Um, in terms of what may be creating anxiety, there's some news or some effort. This could be your, your own health, uh, to some degree. I mean, anxiety is not great health, right? No one wants to feel anxious and have anxiety. Um, but this could be also for someone around their work. Maybe they learned something around the workplace. Maybe a, a workplace got bought out. There's change there. Um, and you learned through the grapevine, maybe you're worried about losing your job. There's something here like underneath that's happening amongst all this. What else do we need to know? It just could be someone that you're concerned about overall here. And maybe you've been connecting into the energy and, you know, and then you learn about it and it's kind of like I knew something was going on. Um, so we've got four of inspiration, night of voices. So again, it seems like there was some communication around something uh, around the home space or something that you were working towards that had, you know, significant meaning for you here with the ace of emotions and the muse of voices. Something's opening up here for you. Something's changing, even though underneath you might be worried or concerned about a situation or something that's happened. I do feel that something is, is moving or opening up on a new path here. And someone has come and spoken to you about a potential opportunity that I feel is going to, it's interesting because I feel like this is a blessing at the same time. It's like, Oh shit, you know, you got to take that on amongst everything else that you're dealing with, because this is an, an opportunity to, to, to step up in a different way I do feel, and it's giving you some, some change where you get to operate in a more professional place or um, in a different position. This could also be you getting help or support from someone here, Sagittarius. I just know that I'm getting here, like good things are happening, but it's a lot happening at the same time. And I think you've got multiple areas or things in your life that are going on. And it's a lot that you're feeling is what, what I'm gathering here. What do we need to know about the influential energy? So we've got main male and journey. And this is with the, the new road that you're going on this personal healing and happiness. So I don't know if you're looking at changing directions, going a new path uh, regarding something here, especially with journey, uh, maybe taking a break, a trip, needing to go see someone if they're not doing well. It's got something to do with a masculine energy, but it could, like I said, could be an opportunity uh, regarding work or career or something of that nature here. What else do we need to know? Yeah, ten of materials. So whatever's happening here, this is going to set you up for success, Sagittarius. What else do we need to know here? I mean, your employer could have changed locations. I don't know, or transferring you somewhere or something. There's something that's happening that, whether it's around your home life or your work life, that some news or some information has shifted it. I think you had an inkling that something was going on, you learn about it. And now it's like, okay. Uh, and everything's kind of like up in the air at the same time, you're trying to catch it and do what you need to do with it. At the same time, there's a lot of feeling behind it. It's, but wherever it's taking you is to a really wonderful place. I need you to know that a really wonderful place because you've got tenor materials. You do also have, um, this journey, some change leading you to a path with this four of inspiration, which is like that gateway, that portal of divine essence. Okay. Um, and this new beginning with this ACE of emotions, because whatever it is that you believe in here with this, um, star energy, whatever has happened that had you in some form of conflict or some, you know, the conflict could have been internal or with someone, 
a conversation that you didn't, like I said, didn't want to have or had to have that, um, I think you're feeling or acknowledging the opportunity that's coming from this because it's taking you to a place that you can get some peace with it. Okay. So let's have a look at where this is taking us in terms of the outcome. So we've got lovers, high honor, and poverty. This is also showing up with the community energy. So this could be some concern here with whatever's presenting itself. And it's interesting because you do have the three of emotions showing up in the past energy. Um, What I feel is going to be important for you here, Sagittarius, because I do feel that you are a person of high integrity, high honor, wants to do the right thing. Okay. But I feel as part of doing the right thing, you have a decision to make and you feel that whatever decision that you make, that you're going to be at a loss of some kind is what it feels like here with some opportunity or some situation or choice of direction that you're looking at going. What else do we need to know here? Yeah, so you've got the lovers showing up again. So I don't know if this is a significant connection that you're dealing with that has kind of got you at a loss um, or a choice. Because with the night of inspiration, someone's coming through to communicate with you. I want to say good news, inspiring news, something to get you excited about. What else do we need to know of this night of inspiration? Yeah, but again, you keep coming up with the poverty energy or the energy like something, leaving something behind or feeling left behind here. What else do we need to know about this five of materials? What else do we need to know about this five of materials? Okay, so you've got three of materials, the devil energy and the death energy. So I feel whatever's, whatever situation has kind of been haunting you a little bit, um, that's coming to an end, it seems here, Sagittarius. I just wonder too, because it's coming up with three again, if someone has been putting energy into other things or other people that you weren't aware of, and it's caused a lot of stress for you, Okay. Um, and this could be around the home place and maybe getting some truth around what someone had been doing. And I feel like it wasn't including you in some way. Uh, but what I'm seeing is, is that just something around it just wasn't healthy and wasn't supportive. And that's part of what I think the poverty could be is feeling like left out, not included, um, not considered here and it's kind of left you at a, at a loss. Uh, let's get some final messages from spirit on where, where this is going, because I do see here the influence that you can't see, you know, usually the influence is something hidden that's happening is something is moving or shifting for you. Okay. That's putting you in a strong place and going to get you to a place of peace. But I think underneath it all, or what's at the forefront that you are dealing with is a choice and where your integrity sits or where the integrity of someone sits and what you want to do with that, that part of integrity uh, and assessing that situation in terms of the decision, because someone's coming through and wants to communicate some form of interest or some form of opportunity that I think gets you excited about it. But you're also looking at what happened, what was supposed to be, you know, coming together, working together on something kind of didn't happen that way and came to an end. So, you know, there's, I think a few things up in the air for you uh, right now, but at the same time, I think there's an opportunity for growth and some new direction that you're going on that maybe you haven't heard about yet. The timelines could be different. Okay. I like this. So 
the message from spirit is saying to step outside your comfort zone. So this could really be about, you know, what is next for you? Cause it is North node energy. So when I connect in to the North node, the North node is part uh, is the next chapter of our life where we're meant to be our trajectory, our time on earth, where we're meant to be heading in terms of what we're meant to achieve in this lifetime. Okay. So usually the North node is the second half of our life. The first half South node is things we've got to learn. We've got to acquire, we've got to bring usually the heavier stuff that we've worked through to get to this North node energy, something important that you're heading towards in this lifetime. And then we've got communication is key. So that could be, you know, some conversation that you need to have. I find too, when you, when there's anxiety involved that journaling about it, talking about it can help shift, shift it a little bit. You know what I mean? And I feel like this is going to be important or just speaking to someone and getting the support that you need as you're working through. There seems to be a lot of change happening here for you, Sagittarius, you know, whether this is related to money, whether this is related to a connection, someone's health, um, a job, there's a lot going on underneath it all. So I can understand here uh, the feeling anxious or feeling a bit concerned about it. What I do like though, is your intuition and understanding around this is very on point. So keep trusting in that and allow yourself to kind of step forward and make decisions in alignment with what feels right within you, because I can see this healing happening um, that needs to happen. That's very supportive for your energy. And it's showing up, you know, perhaps traveling with, um, we've got a main male, so a divine counterpart here or an opportunity to go in a new direction uh, regarding a certain place that is around your home space, your financial space that is around these hopes and desires that you have and have chance to heal and bring back peace in your life for whatever this situation is. So it's looking positive. I think at the end of the day, you've got to take care of yourself first so you can, you know, work with this or through this in the highest at the highest version of you. So that's going to be incredibly important as part of this. I'm going to leave that with you, Sagittarius. Appreciate you. If you feel connected, please like and subscribe to the channel. It allows us to stay in touch. You get to get know when the readings are out. And importantly, maybe there's another Sagittarius that needs to get this message today to support their journey. We'll speak soon. Bye now.